next video comes from a man named Carlos, who likes to film himself going on long adventurous hiking trips in the middle of the night, usually in rural areas of Barcelona, Spain. But on one particular night, something seemed to follow him and wouldn't give him a break. This was perhaps the most terrifying night of his life. After this, he decided to never go on a night hike ever again. Whatever this creepy figure was, it definitely had its eyes set on this man being its target. So just what is this entity? Reddit user Reddit Bands was inside an ambulance when he caught the following on camera. Listen closely or you'll miss it. Now some viewers think that it could have been the paramedic who said this, but Reddit Bands writes, There was no one in the back with me. No, it wasn't the ambulance driver. It's literally a whisper right next to my phone. Why would the ambulance driver whisper that? That being said, what are your thoughts on this? Ghost or hoax? A very concerned parent had posted the following video in the hopes that someone could explain the footage. In it, a child is seen playing in their crib when suddenly something truly terrifying is caught on camera. According to the parents, ever since playing with the Ouija board that they bought at a yard sale, strange things have been happening. On random occasions, their son would stare at an empty space as though something was there and then suddenly cry out of nowhere. The strangest incident, however, may just be the following video. It's late at night when the following is caught on camera. Take a look. An unsettling screech-like noise is heard inside the child's room. It seems to come out of nowhere, yet sounds very close to the child. But even weirder is the fact that the camera glitches whenever it screeches. It's almost as though the presence of whatever this might be is so strong that it messes with the frequency of the camera. Then again, it is often the case that people hack into these cameras. Perhaps this might be an instance of that but that doesn't explain how the camera shook whenever a loud banging noise occurred. The parents believe that whatever was making that noise must be the supposed paranormal entity that is haunting their child. Now there's not much info given on this clip, so forming a solid opinion might be hard to do. But nevertheless, it's up to you to decide if the video is real or not. Just what exactly had occurred that night? 
feel free to let me know what you think down below. This is why you should never explore an abandoned circus. A young couple loved exploring abandoned places for their YouTube channel. And so, one night, they decided to explore an abandoned circus that was one town over. At first, it was like any other abandoned place they'd been before. Empty, desolate, and in ruins. But soon after they arrived, something strange happened. The lights to the circus turned on, and so did all the power to the attractions. At first they thought it was creepy and weird, but then they realized that someone must own it, even if it's just the local council and maintenance would have to be done. And if nothing else, it was great content for their YouTube channel. And so, with the lights on, they proceeded to check out all the stalls, rides and buildings. Starting with a behind the scenes look at the haunted house ride. Being into creepy stuff, this was probably their favorite ride. And so, to get a backstage pass was pure luck in their books. However, soon after they started exploring the haunted house ride, they started to hear music. And it started to feel like the mannequins, as creepy as they were, were staring at them. They knew that these objects weren't real, and it was probably the atmosphere playing tricks on them. But there was something about these specifically placed clown dolls that creeped them out. Deciding that they'd had enough of the rides, they decided to explore some of the tents. And at first, they made for a great setting for their channel just enough mood lighting to make it feel creepy and eerie. But just like the other places, there were clown mannequins everywhere, and these ones were larger. They were perfectly still, but it always felt like they were in motion, as if you'd caught them off guard and they'd frozen on the spot. And whilst each one looked realistic from afar, they were clearly plastic when you inspected them up close. Regardless, this was starting to freak them out. Why were there so many of them, and why hadn't they noticed them around before? However, what really freaked them out was when one of them moved towards them and another one cackled and started to chase. That was all they needed to make up their minds and run and getting off the ground unscathed was easy. However, that night when they'd already gone to bed, there was a knock at their door and when they answered it, there was no one but a huge package. Thinking that someone had mistakenly delivered it to their house, they took it in and thought that they'd open it in the morning. However, soon after they got back to sleep, they heard the faint sound of music coming from their hallway. Upon inspecting the hallway, to their horror, they saw a clown sitting there who said, you left so soon, so we thought we'd bring the circus to you. In the following video, a man named Wynn is washing dishes in the kitchen when he hears a strange noise coming from his basement. This basement, according to Wynn, is a place that he and his family avoid entering at all costs. There's something about it that isn't right. Now, not too long ago, something happened inside this space that neither Wynn nor his family could explain. As Wynn states, he was by himself in the basement when out of nowhere, a small swing he had recently bought began to swing on its own. Although not really sure how to explain this, it would be the following incident that occurred only days later that leaves him extremely baffled. While being alone at home with his son, a loud banging noise on the basement door is suddenly heard. But, when he checks to see as to who or what was banging on the door, he finds no one there. Can I get it? <laughs> Understandably, this occurrence has left the family feeling thoroughly petrified. But, as if that wasn't enough to freak them out, the following video captures this. Wynn is down in the kitchen washing dishes when his dog starts barking at the basement door. He immediately takes out his phone and begins to record. Go lie down. It's okay. Lie down. Stay. I've been doing this all morning and I don't have time for this today. Stop. Hey buddy. We I don't I got too much going on. You gotta cut it out. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just gonna set it up. Paper towels. And we'll just let the phone roll. I asked you if you gotta go or you gotta go downstairs or something. Wherever you're gonna go, you gotta go. Calm down. He's okay. 
please. Not today. Just holy cow. Oh, oh my god. Little buddy. Sounding fed up with the supposed spirit, Wynn begs the entity to stop, but this only seemed to make things worse as the door to the basement began to continuously open on its own soon after. It isn't until looking closely at the doorway, however, that someone or something appears. Like something out of a nightmare, the shadowy figure seemingly fades into the darkness before reappearing again as a giant shadow. Feeling beyond spooked, Wynn is absolutely certain that he won't be entering this basement anytime soon. But as always, until more footage is brought forth, this video remains a mystery. I want to be kept anonymous. I have a story that has haunted me for 18 years. My family and I had just moved from New York to North Carolina. At the time I was 15, everything was going okay. And after a year, we finally found a house and moved in. By that time, I was 16. One night, it was bedtime, and I went to the bathroom to wash my face and brush my teeth. I took the long way because my parents decided to close the door connecting the bathroom with my room. Some of the rooms in this home were connected. Now, if you looked at the bathroom mirror and had the door open, you could see the kitchen and the window and the reflection. So I'm standing there washing my face, and I look up and see a little girl's reflection outside the kitchen window. I turned around really quick, and it was gone. It didn't make sense to me, as that window was pretty high up, and you would need a ladder to look through. I just kind of brushed it off and didn't think anything of it. Time passed, and I became pregnant at the age of 17. I started to be sleepless and always had migraines. All of a sudden, I became so negative and didn't want to be around people. Everyone kept telling me that it was a pregnancy. After I had my daughter is when things started to get weird. I moved in with my husband and we would all be asleep when all of a sudden it would get really, really cold inside. I would hear a little girl call me mommy at night. I thought it was my daughter and I would wake up and go check on her but she would be asleep. Sometimes I would hear doors slam and glass break. My dogs would start to bark out of nowhere as well. We eventually moved out as the family grew. Now there were two girls and one boy. I would sleep our son in bed with us, and he would wake up crying and pointing at the corner of the room, and that scared me all the time. For some reason, I knew it was that same little girl that I saw outside of the kitchen window years ago. I never thought it would get worse until one night. I was sleeping and suddenly felt someone watching me and touching my hand. She would say mommy right in my ear. Things only got worse. When I was pregnant with my fourth child, I would have sleep paralysis and couldn't sleep anymore. I couldn't enter my room alone. I could hear this little girl everywhere. My son was three and even he wouldn't go into that room by himself. After I gave birth, I couldn't bear to go into the bedroom because I was petrified and I would cry at the thought of going home after work. I eventually had someone come to a cleanse and I never believed in the whole being haunted until I heard the words that came out of this man's mouth. He is a family friend of my husband and had been doing these types of jobs for decades. He started asking me questions like what's my first name and the name of my kids. He told me things I had never told anyone, not even my husband. Then he proceeded to tell me that something happened to me when I was 13 and that he saw me with an older woman getting into a bus. The only person I would get in the bus with would be my grandmother growing up. He said that something happened that traumatized me and it opened a door and something evil came through. That door never closed. He stated that the little girl that I was seeing along with my kids and husband was not a little girl. It was nine different demons using this image to take all of our energy and trying to cross into this world. He did a cleanse in my house and showed me how to do a self-cleanse and how to cleanse everyone in the house. Afterwards, it stopped for a few weeks, but it came back because we didn't follow through with calling him back to do a second cleanse of the home. Now I'm 34 and still dealing with this. It's haunted me for years. <laughs>